Well, howdy there, folks. My name is Wilford Brimley, and I got a story for you about the time I went to the grocery store and had a bit of a situation with the cookie aisle. You see, I had a hankering for a particular type of cookie that day. Now, I ain't usually one to indulge in sweets, what with my diabetes and all, but every once in a while a man's got to treat himself, you know. So I headed on over to the cookie aisle, fully expecting to find my favorite type of cookie. But wouldn't you know it, they were nowhere to be found. Now, normally I'm a patient man, but when it comes to cookies, well, let's just say I get a little antsy. So I asked for help from a friendly employee. He was a nice young fella, eager to please, but even he couldn't locate those darn cookies. Now I ain't one to get mad at someone for something that ain't their fault, but I did let him know I'd be logging a complaint with corporate. You gotta let them know when they're slipping, you know? But before I left, I made sure to thank the employee for his help. I even gave him a little peck on the cheek, just to let him know I wasn't mad at him personally. And then, out of nowhere, I spotted a fella in the checkout line with a hat just like mine. Now, you might think that's not such a big deal, but let me tell you, it's rare for me to find someone else with a hat like this. I mean, this is a fine hat, a Stetson made out of the finest materials. I've had this hat for over 30 years, and it's still in darn good shape. So, of course, I had to strike up a conversation with this fella. Turns out he was a fan of my work in those diabetes commercials. We had a good chuckle about it and even took a picture together, both wearing our hats. And that, my friends, is the story of the time I couldn't find the cookies I wanted at the grocery store. But hey, life is full of surprises, you know? You never know when you're going to run into a fellow hat enthusiast or even the Queen of England. It's what makes life worth living, I reckon. Brimley out!